Шановні колеги, до слова за Now the floor is given to the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesman and ATO related issues, Colonel Andrei Lysenko. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Now the information about the events that happened in the ATO zone during the last 24 hours and about training of Ukrainian armed forces. The Lugansk sector yesterday, the enemy opened fire three times at positions of Ukrainian servicemen. And at about 6 a.m., the occupants delivered uh, armed provocation near Nova Alexandrovka. In Katerinovka, between 1 and 2 p.m., there was short term mortar shelling, and closer to midnight, the militants opened fire with the use of grenade launchers. In the Donetsk sector, the main military actions were in the region of Zaitseva, between 5 and 9 p.m. Also, there was a number of armed provocations carried out by the enemy near Avdivka. Once the occupants opened fire in Lugansk, and in this part of front line, heavy weapons was not used by the enemy. During the last 24 hours in the Donetsk sector, there were six enemy shellings. Mariupol sector. Military actions here were conducted in Pavlo Pilshirokina part of front line. The militants delivered mortar shelling in Pavlo Pilgnutova and Vodyane. Also, the enemy repeatedly opened fire with the use of small arms in Lebedinska and Shirokina. On the whole, during the last 24 hours in the Mariupol sector, there were 13 shellings delivered by the enemy, including four with the use of mortars. During the last 24 hours, in the result of the military actions, no Ukrainian serviceman was killed. Two servicemen were wounded. And yesterday, at Ukrainian positions along the front line, military chaplains greeted Ukrainian defenders with the Easter holidays. Priests from NGO, that is called First Ukrainian Battalion of Military Chaplains, visited frontline positions near Avdiivka in order to greet servicemen with Easter. They brought Easter bread, eggs, and uh, sweets. And soldiers told their guests about daily enemy shellings despite ceasefire about the weapons that is used by the enemy against them. And they said that they will leave these positions only in one case, if they will have to uh, carry out an offensive. In Zaporizhia, in a National Technical University at the military department, they hold training for artillerymen. This training is conducted by experienced officers who had experience uh, in ATO and uh, Training and material base of the department allows to provide two months quality training for specialists in artillery um, for National Guard of Ukraine. If you have questions, please ask. If there are no, yes, there is a question. Tell us, please, would you comment on the information that the Ukrainian side of JCC uh, see that uh, there are some direct actions concerning violations of uh, agreed uh, obligations. Everything that is said by JCCC, they are based on facts that are clearly defined, so they have grounds. If there are no other questions, thank you.